<sighs> I'm not sure what's going on with this game here, but obviously I hated that mermaid and we're going to go back to fighting that mermaid and more because we've got to finish this game. <sighs> it took so long, but after we fight this mermaid, I guess you'll have to see what the next story is that they have for us. This in their weird occult-like club. He was a good people. I'm glad I had him up for quite a while. All right, Tater, let me know when he's up. I'll get him pulled up in my background. I have my laptop open this time, actually, so. Uh, let's see. Poor helpless unlucky girl. Tell me your tale. Um, no, I don't need a second item. What do I need to do right now? Memory serves correctly. You've met a strong-willed princess as intense as still winters. She seeks what you seek. I know what it is, yet you forget. Remember your forgotten promise. That's your only clue. Alright, so... How to remember something. About all that's gonna be right now. Um, you know what, actually? We could use... Let's find and let's equip this. Go. Is there any biscuits? Really? Yes, please. I need more biscuits. Go. Yeah, no biscuits here. Come. Dressing room. So this poor girl's crying. I hear her, but I don't see her. I don't see anything in the mirror. Brown. Go. Alright. Um, let's see. What's she want? No such thing. Ah, yes. A mermaid. That's right. She dropped something? I know what happened. I found the mermaid and I lost because bullshit. That's what happened. Okay. I f like lost it so badly. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. It's the fishy boy. <laughs> the thing that probably confused me the most is them locking me in here and like them dangling the mermaid is hysterical to me. The way they go about it. The dog can. Dog is more than welcome to do that. Suck up the cool age she spits out. No! Ew. Man, why would you do that? Bruh, I hate the way this fight goes half the time. 
<laughs> it's so stupid. Bruh, she takes a chalk, huh? Oh, get me out of here. She's just gonna kill my dog! <laughs> and then bird feed it to her. No mana. Stop it. Stop it. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh, she didn't want a piece of it. She couldn't handle the truth. I think it's so funny because they just tied one of their girlfriends up and like blacked out her eyes and just was like, here you go, you're a mermaid for today. Oh, I hate the way they make the combat in this game. Combat is so bad. I would like to pull that rope, though. Do I do anything else? Or do I just attack her? Because that's the only thing I'm going to assume is just keep attacking and harassing her. So wonky. All right, well, we're doing better than last time, so. <laughs> oh, no, Jimmy. I ain't taking no chances with this. Fuck that. Oh, fuck you in the throw up. Why? It's gross. <laughs> Why? Why would, Why would you do that? There ain't no way I didn't hit you more than just twice. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, whatever. Just get me on the back swing. Oh, yes. Hello, Strawberry. Welcome to what is called Rule of Rose, and it's gross and weird. I don't understand this game at all. I still don't know what the story is. It's insanity to me. Man, I could probably give you some insight as to what the fuck is happening. How? Yes, we are well today. That did I restored nothing. All right, I have to take like one more shot of this. So what? So what do I do with this shitty ass mermaid? I'm not fighting you over there. Fuck off. Yes, it's very good. I think to be here, you're supposed to crouch. No, mana. Stop it. Stop it. As much as I'm into what you're saying, stop it. That's not what happens. That's not how you beat her. She just has a ridiculous amount of HP, apparently. Am I supposed to, like, meat cleaver her instead of just bash her in? 
I mean, I'll try it, but... The dog does eat the vomit. Actually true. I stabbed her. I stabbed her once. I've seen plenty of dogs eat the vomit anyway, so... I'm so sad that you're on the same side as Mana Strawberry. <laughs> Stop mad! I don't know like what's supposed to do the most damage, but the pole was like the longest reach weapon. Oh, we did it. Let's go. That took forever. <laughs> what? what in blazes? Just who did this? Who made this mess? Was it you? <laughs> Go on, tell me. This is very sus. Answer me, Diana. <laughs> no new mummy or daddy will ever want you if you don't like that. I don't know. I won't be angry. Just I'll cover my me. eyes. The shame. What the you fuck is happening? All? What the fuck? Uh, I think he used to be a priest. Yuck! How disgusting! Ugh. Oh, now I see. It ah. was you. It was Hello. your fault that I got into trouble. Hello. Hi. Give it here. Mana, don't you ever say that again. Hello. Oh my, I see a stain. I've got to clean it up, or Mr. Hoffman will be angry with me. I'm kind of concerned about what happened and why she threw me on the bed. Um, but I'm going to digress from there. I'm just going to leave it open to interpretation and let the game designers decide what the fuck is going on in this game. Because I clearly have no idea. Well, at least we can save. Yes, we are a very unlucky gal. But, fortunately, we can save. Nice. Oh my gosh. Kills! No, not you too. She got her back doors done in. You can't. Mermaid doll. Slip of paper is picking out of its tummy. I am yours, even in death. It must go in my book. And now we get to write on the chalkboard. Made princess. All right, for those of you who need a refresher, here we go. A long, long time ago, the mermaid princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years, her love went unacquitted. What's up, Jeffrey? Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the sea king. Who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her? I am yours, even in death. The end! The Lurk King is here! Oh, Brazong! We gotta catch it. Catch the Dumbbell Pokemon. 
Okay, listen. I know I have a ball. Here we go. True love, I am yours. Okay. So, what's the first half of it? We're riding on this chalkboard for a reason. Yes, I would like to save again. Because fuck it. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Now we get to go to the third story. Okay. We still got plenty to read. How was it, Jennifer? Do you remember now? I still don't remember exactly what the hell's going on. I see you remember the second one. Hmm. But that's not all of it. You really are a silly girl. I am. I'm a very silly girl. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Read another story. Why are you rushing me to read this story when I have plenty of time, clearly? Uh, three, two, one, go. Whee! Oh, bro. Fuck you, bro. Song. The bird. Ah, oh, the bird of happiness. Ah, yes, with his beady red eyes. Once, a girl found a big box. The bird of happiness was inside. The bird would take her to Foreverland. Or so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped, dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little and far too late. The bird was long dead. It had met a bloody fate. The end. Time to travel back in time. Yes, I would like to say it again. Thirty. Bird of happiness. Whee! See, we teleported. We're magical beings. And the unlucky girl closed the storybook. She knows that the cold princess has entered the room. I like her. She seems to be the calmest. The princess said softly. The red bird. Have you found what you're looking for? Something dear to you? Alright. There's usually something in here. Hmm. Let's see what it says. If memory serves me correctly, you've met the cold princess and seen the empty cage she carries. She seeks what you seek. I know what it is, yet you forget. Remember your forgotten promise. That's your only clue. What a terrible clue. Save again. I like to spam saves, if y'all can't tell, in any game, no matter how far it is. But I just like to make sure I know exactly where I'm at. Anything in here? No. Maybe that? No. Alright. Let's head out and see what's out here. We really need our cage, probably, to find the bird that we're looking for, but I can't really assume that. Maybe a feather. The strong willed princess and the wise looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened in. I don't know if she's unlucky or lucky enough. She doesn't seem to be skittish enough, Diana. You're right, Meg. We had better push a little harder. We'll discuss the details later. Okay. Let's meet at our secret place. I think they stole the bird. They stole the bird! I caught it before I even seen it. A red feather. Let's see what it says in here. Uh, read the poster. 
A month gift, birdie of happiness. Wow. Alright, let's equip this. Let's equip the red feather. Fine. We can drop this book. We can drop this. Go on, little doggy. Show me the way. Show me to the bird, for we must pray. Stairs. <laughs> Let's see where this is going to lead to. What the fuck? There's no way this, like, one bird has this many feathers. How many are there? The toilet, yeah. I would be in here. Is that blood on it? <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. Someone knows. They're taking the other girl there and they're gonna frame it on me. <laughs> Watch this, I'm gonna call it right now. You know what? You know what? What? I don't like her. I'll never get along with her. No chance, not ever. She's such a pain. Just terrible. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of her. <laughs> I feel like they're talking about Bird Girl. They're not me anymore, more than anything. Yes, she had it coming. Yes, she deserved it. Hmm. Are we too cruel? <laughs> yes. Heavens no. <laughs> You're right. It's her own fault. <laughs> Why would they run out like that? <laughs> Very weird. Welcome back. King of taters. <laughs> There's only one person in here who's the lurk king, which is Jeffrey. So you're king of taters. Strongwheel princess said, He's dropping A, Jennifer. What a bad girl. Once Princess said, I know what you're doing. You're looking for the bird of happiness, aren't you? It's in a room nearby, but I don't remember the room number. The bird will die if we don't hurry. And that will make Eleanor cry. This is terrifying. No, I bet she'll be furious. She's gonna go insane. Well, then let's make a wager on whether she'll cry or get angry. I'd rather wager none of that. And make sure that she gets her bird back somehow peacefully. Because otherwise, I'm pretty sure I murder the bird and then the bird has a letter for me. And it's so weird. Yes, hello! The tater boy's back. 
Really? Nothing. So, am I supposed to just follow the sound? Talking about Lady D again. I don't know what you mean, Tater. I am very sorry. Doesn't tell you what the room number is? Alright, so I believe we're looking for the red bird. So that bird said 12 on it, and it was orange. So where is the red bird? That's purple. And it says 37. I missed a wild one. I was in there! What do you mean? Bastards. Unless y'all got rambunctious afterwards, then I sure did miss it. Mommy D jokes in a second. Oh my god. For Mommy D, I assume. Twelve, thirty-seven, eight, forty-five. Am I just supposed to check? They said in one of the rooms nearby, so... Are these all rooms? These are all rooms, huh? You can blame everything on Tater. He definitely deserves it. For sure. 16. I would it would not be remiss if Tater was the actual cause of stuff. Three, four. What a weird combination of stuff to do. <laughs> you don't have it yet. You gotta get a starter first. Haunting Grounds. Oh, it's a game. Okay, I see. Birdie Town Mayor's Diet Chart. Part of it has been torn off. No shit. So... That doesn't say anything? 
It's just this one? Oh no, now it says village. What? I need a village now? What? Right, I have to go into the other rooms. Oh, we missed the Graveler. Oh, man. No, can't go that way? Okay. This one might take me a second. Ooh, a scone. Hello, yes, I hear the bird whistle. Oh, okay. I was very confused. Why weren't the birds flying to me? Why does it have to be you? Stay away, stay away! Okay. Well, unfortunately for you, Miss Lady, I am looking for the bird. Apparently, I need something about a village. Let's see. What the fucking fuck? What the heck? I would like to run. No, don't smack me! No, stop it! Nothing down here. Oh, fuck you! Okay. Big orange dragon, right? No. That's Dragonite. Graveler's a big old rock boy. He looks like this. And it's hysterical. Oh, fuck you! Is there actually nothing up here? There's nothing up here. Travelers, the yellow... Mana. No, we don't mean Pikachu. Mana might mean Pikachu, but it's not Pikachu. <laughs> Alice vibes. Yeah, this came out first before Alice. I believe. Probably Alice came out at the same time, actually. I would not be surprised, because this is around PS2 era. Well, according to what Thumper told me about it, at least. Rock Pikachu. See? You get it. Rock Pikachu. Perfect. I'm going to assume we have to go back all the way down in here. Oh, what are you doing here? That person was new. The original Alice McGee? Hmm. One twenty four. Alright, but I'm still looking for something that says village on it. Amar? Yeah. The OG Alice came out. Yeah, that's what I thought. OG Alice came out, like, way before this one. The other Alice did definitely come out after that, though. Oh, where can it be? The bird of happiness. I don't know! You decrepit old fool! I'm just gonna open up every door possible. I might as well at this point. I have nothing to lose. It's not gonna hurt me. Uh.
Alice Mad Mad Madness Return was definitely PS3, Xbox 360 era. I don't think they need a new one. As much as I enjoy that series, I don't think they need a new one. It would not be as good, I feel like. I wonder... If I get the room wrong, then these guys show up. Very interesting. Are they, though? Are they? Are they, though? Look, to be fair, it is very hard to capture American McGee's Alice, I feel like. Like, just specifically the styling he had. Very different. Especially on the first game. playing on PC right now. It's the only way I can emulate this game. The music is very good. I will give Thumper that. The music in this game is awesome. Very repeatable, but very good. Um, let's go ahead and save. That way I don't have to restart this nonsense. I mean, that's what we, we want, right? We want twisted and good. Like, that just seems like something you want. Assuredly, right? That's why I, like, took Dumper's recommendation on playing it. Can I open these other doors? Probably not. Oh, yeah, I did open this door before. So... Are the other doors in here? Oh my gosh. Hate the rats. Fuck you. Basil. Oh, fuck you. Amanda. Oh, these are the children's rooms. Thomas. Uh, I saw a Thumper play it. I, or I, I saw parts of him playing it, but I did, I did not personally play it. No. Um, I heard it was really good though. Oh, 
Oh, you think that's creepy? In comparison? They're just little rat people. Mana loves rats. Mana has told me they've always wanted to be a rat. More specifically, the ones I send them. <laughs> Says 19. So wait a minute. Am I just supposed? It's 37. But where are the other doors? Am I acting crazy? Like, are they down this way? Yeah. Like I can't unlock this door. What? No, not the rat strawberry. Come on, get it together. That's pretty funny, though. It probably scared the poop out of you. I'd believe that one. See, this door doesn't open either. How am I supposed to open these doors? And then we're looking for some context about a village. Like, what? Where? What kind of village? Is that girl set down the hall? I don't know anymore. <laughs> he was. He was. Quick, someone give me the village number. Was it on this map thing? I can try one, two, four, but I don't think that's it. I'll laugh if it does it. It's a village. There ain't no way, bro. What? I don't want the box. I want the piece of paper. Daddy is, mommy is. Okay. This game is very confusing. Go, Go doggy. Go find me shit. Go find it. A quagsire. I like Quagsire. Quagsire is good, good, good Pokemon. Do I have anything? 